right, boxing fans, here we go with a bout coming to you from Seattle, Tacoma, Washington, SeaTac. We're looking back at a fight between Robert Shannon and Vinny Ponzio. And right now, let's go up to the ring announcer. Weighing in today at 121 pounds from Denver, fighting for the Duke's Boxing Club with a ring record of seven wins, one loss, one draw, four of these wins came by knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, wearing black trunks with blue trim, Vinny the Hammer Ponzio. from Linwood, Washington, weighing in today at 123 pounds. With a ring record of 17 wins, five losses, two draws, eight by knockouts, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, wearing white trunks with the green trim. The outlaw Southpaw Robert Shannon. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this will be eight rounds. All right, the two fighters are introduced, scheduled for eight, and it is Robert Shannon, the former U.S. Olympian, br bringing his uh, record into the ring, 17-5-2, and, and his opponent will be Vinny Ponzio, and there's the bell for round one. We're underway. Professional boxing here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. We're looking back at Vinny Ponzio and Robert Shannon's first meeting. Vinny Ponzio in the blue trunks. Robert Shannon in the white. Robert Shannon's a southpaw. His nickname, the Outlaw Southpaw. <laughs> And uh, he is a heck of a fighter. He had an incredible amateur career. Uh, as an amateur, he was 124 and 27. And he went, went on to represent the United States in, as a member of the 1984 Olympic team. 17, five and two as a professional. And um, he's taking on the very hard charging and strong Vinny Ponzio, who you see now trying to work his way in. Ponzio's a shorter man, shorter reach, so he's gonna have to really work to get inside on Robert Shannon, the slick and tricky southpaw out of Washington State. Robert Shannon, the celebrated amateur star turned professional, and he, uh, he has fought for two titles. He was unsuccessful in a challenge against Greg Richardson uh, he lost that one on a decision for the USBA Junior Featherweight title. And then he later challenged Jamal Hinton, and he lost that one by a, he was stopped in the 11th round. That was for the WBC Continental America's Junior Featherweight title. So right now he continues his career, and he's facing Vinny Ponzio out of Denver, Colorado. As I said, Ponzio, the hard-charging slugger, He's a rough, rugged fighter, a nice record of seven, one, and one. And you can see him really working, trying to get in there and mix it up with Robert Shannon. Shannon, it seems, would want to stay on the outside, stick and move, but uh, Ponzio's gonna make it hard for him to do that. Kind of a rough looking video here, but it is uh, vintage, classic boxing. Vinny Ponzio, uh, a favorite of the Colorado boxing scene, uh, well known throughout the southwestern United States also. And then of course, Robert Shannon, a former US Olympian. So this one makes the cut. We're looking back at it here on the eight count boxing hour on our classic boxing series. And that ends round one. We look into the corner now of Vinny Ponzio. Ponzio trained by Dan Kushner out of Denver, Colorado. It was a good, good round. Uh, 
it pretty much setting the pattern of what we expected, although I think Ponzio was a little more successful at uh, engaging with Shannon and getting him to stand still and, and uh, get in there and work. I'm sure Shannon's uh, fight plan would be more of keeping distance and working from distance. And Vinny Ponzio has his work cut out for him. He's going to have to work his way in. And he can do that. He's a very determined fighter. This fight taking place October 21st, 1990 at the SeaTac Airport Hilton in the ballroom. And you're watching classic professional boxing here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. So round two underway. And there you see Ponzio trying to get in there and roughhouse with uh, Shen. <laughs> the referee gives him a warning, but I thought that was a nice move on uh, Ponzio's part. A slick professional. You'll see Shannon working out of that southpaw stance, trying to work from distance, like I said. He's going to try to swat uh, Ponzio down and s stay out of harm's way. But Vinny Ponzio is a bull. He's going to work his way in, and when he gets inside, you're going to see him work, and there goes a body shot from Ponzio. Fans are behind Robert Shannon here. He's got the home crowd behind him. But uh, Vinny Ponzio with that rugged style, he seems to get the fans on his side by the time the fight's over. And look at him work now. Shannon holding uh, Ponzio's left hand, but Ponzio works with the right, with the free hand. Good work by Vinny Ponzio there as uh, Shannon tried to tie up his, his left hand, and that didn't deter him. He kept working. There again, you see Shannon working behind the jab. Again, Shannon trying to hold that. This time he's holding the right hand hostage, and Ponzio works with the left. So whatever hand's free, Ponzio's working with it. Oh, there's a body shot from Ponzio. And Shannon answers with his own body shot. Robert Shannon, the celebrated amateur, um, after five defeats, he was really trying to resurrect his career here, making one more charge at a possible title. Unsuccessful in his two title tries. Ponzio has not fought for a title at this point. And there you see Ponzio again. He finished with that left hand to the body. And that ends the second round. So another good close round. This is going to be a tough one. Robert Shannon is not having his way with uh, Vinny Ponzio in spite of his size and reach advantage and uh, reputation as a slickster, uh, Ponzio has been able to reach, reach him. We look into the corner of Robert Shannon out of Edmonds, Washington. Professional Boxing coming to you from the SeaTac Hilton in Seattle, Tacoma, Washington. As we get ready to start round three. Two close rounds to start this one. Here we go with round three. Robert comes out throwing a few quick uh, lead left hands. Ponzio now working on the outside. Uh, it's just a matter of time till he'll bull his way in, try to work inside. 
And there he goes. And smartly, he's going to the body. He's getting Shannon uh, thinking about that body attack and comes back with both hands working. <laughs> Ponzio is pretty effective. And there you see Shannon now tying up. Robert Shannon in the white trunks, Vinnie Ponzio in the blue. Right there, Shannon had the distance, but Ponzio closes the gap quick. And every time he does, though, Shannon ties him up. Pretty good tactic if you can get it working for Shannon. That'll slow the attack of Ponzio when he's on the inside. But Vinny Ponzio working with both hands, keeping Shannon busy and keeping Shannon in that defensive mode. Now there's a warning for, for going charging him with the head, I think. And there's a left hand to the body of, of Ponzio by Shannon. Ponzio ripping back with the combination to the body. Whatever hand's free, Ponzio's working with it. There's a right hand over the top again. Another chopping right hand, another. And there you see him working to the body now with that right hand. Ponzio smart working the body of this taller, uh, lankier opponent. Okay, things heating up a little bit here. And there's Shannon with a big left hand. Ponzio just moving around him, stepping around. Gets back inside, but immediately Shannon with the clinch. Shannon shooting out, some right hands coming up short. There's Ponzio banging to the body. Again, Ponzio, and he follows it with a big right hand that just came up just a hair short. What a, the body attack of Vinny Ponzio, very effective here. And that ends the round. Three in the books, scheduled for eight. We look into the corner now of Vinny Ponzio. Dan Kushner in the red hat, working with him. I think he likes what he sees. Ponzio's chances are looking better and better. That body attack has been effective. He's been able to close the gap. And Shannon has not been able to establish control with the jab. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty close fight, though, because Shannon has been scoring. But Ponzio, with that body attack, looking pretty strong. He's <laughs> certainly giving Robert Shannon something to worry about here at home. Seconds out, call for seconds out. We're ready to go with round four here. Vinny Ponzio and Robert Shannon coming to you here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour, looking back at a 1990 encounter. This was the first of two. And it's Vinny Ponzio traveling to Seattle, Tacoma area to face the local hero, Robert Shannon, the former Olympian. And even with that Olympic pedigree, Robert Shannon has not looked superior to Ponzio at all. Just a matter of styles here. Vinny Ponzio has been effective in, in, in uh, employing his style and getting things to go his way a little bit. Pretty good ring generalship. Uh, now you see Shannon working around, trying to stay on the outside and work behind that jab. But the jab has not been real effective. Ponzio's done a good job of, of bobbing and weaving and avoiding that jab. And there you see Ponzio, man. He ducks in and he starts, he doesn't just charge in. He comes in with his guns of blazing. Vinny Ponzio, the man originally from Tombstone, Arizona.
now a resident of Denver, Colorado. And there you see, see Shannon tying, pulling on the uh, neck of Ponzio, and Ponzio just works with the left hand of the body. And I hope the judges are seeing that and giving him credit for it. It's nice work. And here you see Shannon again. He'll get in there and he'll tie up one of the hands of Ponzio. Very smart on Shannon's part. He's slick too. He knows all the tricks in the book. He's showing them. But so far, the southpaw style of Shannon does not seem to be bothering Ponzio in any way. He just keeps working the way he works. And he's been effective at getting inside, but that clinching tactic of Shannon has uh, kind of been somewhat effective in holding Ponzio at bay. And there you see Ponzio again, and he continues to work to that body. Look at him go with those left hands to the body, working with the free hand. And the referee's getting to work out here, separating the two as Shannon continues to clinch every time Ponzio gets inside. Again, Ponzio digging to the body. Now you see Vinny flicking out a jab. And Shannon's trying to keep that distance. He's having a hard time maintaining that distance, the range that he wants. And Ponzio, with his aggression, just gets inside. And that ends round four. Look into the corner now of Robert Shannon. Referee getting a workout in this one, trying to keep the two separated. Shannon continuing to clinch every time Ponzio gets inside. But Ponzio is able to land a lot of body shots before they're broken up. But that tactic has been somewhat effective in kind of uh, slowing down or taking away the effectiveness. I mean, Ponzio can't just keep working to the body like he would like to as Shannon clinches, ties him up, and then the ref comes in and breaks them. But before he gets, uh, the ref can get in there and break things up, it's Ponzio scoring with some good body shots. But Shannon has landed his share of shots too. This is a close fight. Round five underway. You're watching the eight count boxing hour on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. This is a classic. Look back at Robert Shannon and Vinnie Ponzio, 1990. Again, Shannon trying to step around and stay outside and work behind the jab and keep distance. But you see Ponzio now going to war, working his way inside. And there you see Shannon grab that right hand, of, uh, left hand of Ponzio. The ref comes in and breaks him. This is pretty much the pattern that this fight has settled into. Kind of a miniature Ali Frazier type fight here. Ponzio has not done a lot of head hunting here. I mean, he's at a real disadvantage in the reach department and the movement of Shannon makes him hard to connect, but smartly go into the body. And that's where most of the scoring for Vinny Ponzio has been coming from. There you see Shannon firing out the jab, coming up short though. Ponzio has not been standing right in front of him. He's been moving, his, a lot of good head movement, a lot of bobbing, weaving, stepping in, stepping back. He has made it really hard for Shannon to time him. Both guys can bang, but neither one's known as a big knockout, one punch knockout uh, artist. But both guys have enough power for sure. And you can see that uh, Shannon especially seems to be respecting the power of Ponzio. 
trying to keep that distance and tying him up every time he comes in. Shannon immediately goes to the, to the clinch. And there you see Ponzio again, free swinging but missing. Shannon moves around smartly. Robert Shannon with that stand-up boxing style. Southpaw working good with the jab. He's good on his feet, moving around. So he's not an easy target for Ponzio either. And Vinny Ponzio having trouble uh, tracking him down, having trouble cutting the ring off. But Ponzio has done a good job of being able to close distance, and that ends the round. corner of Vinny Ponzio. This is a close fight, but he's, uh, he's on track for a win here if he can keep it going. Of course, uh, Robert Shannon is the hometown fighter. And that's a concern always of, of any camp. About ready to start round six now. Round six underway. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. Robert Shannon in the white trunks, the southpaw. Vinny Ponzio in the blue trunks, the right-handed fighter. Again, there's that pattern. Shannon grabs the right hand of Ponzio, so he just goes to work with the left hand. Referee breaks them, and here we go. It's been that pattern the whole fight. This bout scheduled for eight rounds. There you see Ponzio continuing to work. As Shannon tried to step away, Ponzio did a good job of following him with his hands moving. That's the, the main thing. He's keeping his hands moving and scoring, not just following his opponent. And you see Ponzio again throwing his hands, trying to catch Robert Shannon. Shannon's been dancing all over the ring. He's a dancing master. This U.S. Olympian knows how to move. But you see again, Ponzio trying to turn it into a brawl. When he gets inside, if there's any, any way he can, look at him work with both hands. And again, Shannon just trying to tie him up and get the ref to break him, get some distance, and then work again behind that jab. And there's Ponzio with a jab of his own. Neither man's been hurt. No one's been down in this one so far. We're in round six. The fans are loving it. Boy, they are really getting behind their fighters here. Oh, and there's a right hand from Shannon who timed Ponzio coming in. Ponzio, I mean, uh, excuse me, Shannon missing with that uppercut, trying to catch Ponzio coming in. That's a, That would be a smart move on Shannon's part if he could time it right and catch Ponzio coming in with his head down. But Ponzio doing a good job of moving side to side, moving his head a little bit. Just a little bit of movement. Just enough to keep Shannon off balance and not be an easy target for Shannon. There you see again Shannon trying to stick that jab in there but Ponzio with just a little bit of movement. Good fight plan here for Vinny Ponzio. And that round is over. We've got two to go. A very close fight, very close. I would have Ponzio slightly ahead, but I mean, a lot of close rounds you can see going either way. 
And again, uh, Robert Shannon is a local fighter, so that shouldn't make a difference, but <laughs> this is boxing. <laughs> we look into the corner of Robert Shannon. Robert Shannon, a very nice boxer, no doubt about it. I can see why he was so successful in the amateurs. I said earlier, Robert Shannon challenging twice for titles, the WBC Continental Americas and the USBA Junior Featherweight titles. Coming up short in both of those tries uh, in, in good fights, but losing them both. So here we go now. Round seven underway. We've got two to go. This one's scheduled for eight. Junior Featherweight encounter coming to you from Washington State at the SeaTac Airport Hilton. 1990, looking back at a, a vintage bout. Not the best video quality, that's for sure. <laughs> but, but we're glad to be able to find this one and bring it to you here on the 8 Count Boxing Hour. And now both guys pecking away. You see Ponzio trying to keep that close very little space between them where he can work. And there's a left hand to the body, comes back with a right. Again, the body shots, a right hand. Ponzio working hard and working well. Same pattern, Vinny Ponzio trying to get close. Shannon ties him up if he gets close and pushing away. There you see Shannon push off and now go to the body. And now it's Ponzio tying up Shannon. And now Robert Shannon comes back with a right hand and a left. And again, now it's Ponzio actually holding. I don't know if he might have got stung by that one of those shots. Oh, there's a good body shot by Robert Shannon. Both guys exchange there, and now Robert Shannon's starting to get a little bit more effective. But you see Ponzio come right back to the body. We're in the seventh round, scheduled for eight. Ponzio able to stay close. Shannon having trouble keeping that distance. He just can't seem to control that distance. Rob, uh, Vinny Ponzio is a fierce warrior. He, he just comes right in on Robert Shannon. I think Ponzio feels like Shannon really can't hurt him, or at least he fights that way. He's coming right in boldly. And that ends round seven. We've got one to go to settle this one. We're looking at the corner of Vinny Ponzio. One round to go. They're gonna need this one, it's a close fight. And he is the out of towner, so. He knows what he has to do. He's done a good job of uh, carrying out the fight plan. He's been able to keep close, keep distance, working to the body. Smart, smart fight plan. Well executed by Vinny Ponzio. Good looking warrior. And on the other side, Robert Shannon, the slick boxer, boxer as advertised. And uh, this is a close one. Eighth and final round now. The two touch him up, and here we go. Three minutes to decide this one. Robert Shannon and Vinny Ponzio on the eight count boxing hour. And you can see Ponzio now letting his hands fly. 
He's got Shannon backed up against the ropes and Ponzio just sets his feet and fires. Look at him go to the body, digging body shots. Just rip into the body, Vinny Ponzio. And he's got Shannon just, just kind of pushing forward and trying to stop the attack. Now Shannon fires some good left hands. And Shannon scores with some sharp little left hands. And again, you see Shannon immediately tie up that left hand of Ponzio. It's been this pattern the whole fight. Ponzio bobbing and weaving, working inside. Uh-oh, there's a shot and Ponzio kind of stumbles forward. It's not a knockdown. He was off balance, got pushed down a little bit. Referee just wiped his glove, gloves off and lets him work. And there you see Ponzio now with a quick combination to the body and Shannon pushes him off and fires the jab. Robert Shannon has been most effective with that left hand. And Ponzio really effective with a body attack. Two-fisted attack from Ponzio. And Shannon has had a heck of a time trying to control this little bulldog. Oh, and there's a big right hand attempt from Ponzio. And Shannon comes back now with both hands, a left and a right. And Robert Shannon loads up with a left hand and follows it with a right. But Ponzio has done a good job of keeping close, smothering those shots not enough leverage for Shannon to really be effective, but he has been scoring. And there you see Ponzio working to the body now. Vinny Ponzio, you notice he takes what, he, what you give him. If he doesn't have the space or you're tying up a hand, he'll work with, what, with a hand that's free. And if the body's open, he'll take it. There you see Shannon again trying to peck away with that jab, trying to keep Ponzio at distance. But every time Ponzio slips inside, it becomes a trench war, and then the referee has to come in and break them as Shannon clinches. There's a left hand fired by Ponzio. And again, Ponzio has Shannon in retreat. Ponzio going to the body, and Shannon holds on. And that ends the fight. This one has gone the distance. It's, it's going to go to the, to the scorecards. This fight has, has gone the whole eight rounds. And this one's up for grabs. Boy, I, I think, let me look at my scorecard. I have Ponzio up in this one. But I can see a lot of close rounds. It's going to be tough. The fight followed the same pattern all the way through. Ponzio was the aggressor working the body. Robert Shannon trying to control the outside. So the commissioners are totaling up the scores. I would expect a close decision here. I think Ponzio may have slightly outworked him, but you do have the hometown man, Robert Shannon, and the fans, of course, roar with approval for every little thing that Shannon does. That could have an effect on things, but it shouldn't. But as I said earlier, <laughs> this is professional boxing. So we await, we await the decision here. You can see both sides showing concern. Taking a little while to add the scores up, so it must have been close. I 
I think the ring announcer has the scorecards. Here we go. Split decision. Judge Glenn Hamada scores 77-75. Judge Tom McDonald scores 77-75. And Judge Lauren Marshall scores 79-74. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Your winner, Robert Shannon. Okay, so the local man Robert Shannon wins on a split decision. 77-75 on two of the scorecards, I believe. And it was close. It was close. I I had Vinny Ponzio winning this one. But it was a close fight. Good performance by both men. And of course, later on, these two would have a rematch. And Vinny Ponzio would win that rematch. But tonight, your winner, out of Edmonds, Washington, Robert Shannon.